Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man in black saying welcome to my open house of horror, which brings me to number 12A Maple Drive. A nice house. Three bedrooms, through lounge, fitted kitchen, garage, bit of a garden, front and back, yes. A nice house. But it has a history that has led to a for sale sign being placed outside, a history you do well to know before you think of buying. The Snowman Killing. I'm cold, so cold. I'm cold, so cold. Let's build a snowman. A snowman? Yes, we'll build him on the lawn. I don't want to build a snowman. Why not? I don't know. I don't want to. Don't be silly. They're scary. They're not. They're fun. I don't want to. You do. You do want to. I don't. Yes, you do. You do want to. Please, Colin, yes, you don't do. make We're me. going to make a snowman, aren't we? Don't make me. Please, don't make me. We can make him by the bird table. He can scare the birds. Yes, that's it. He can scare the birds. I don't want to. Come on. It'll be fun, I tell you. Fun. I don't want to. Wait for me. Mummy, can I play outside? Oh, it's horribly cold, darling. I'm bored. Well, go and play with your tank. You had a nice new tank from Auntie Joan. You've not played with it at all. Don't want to. Well, then grab that cloth and help me dry up. I'm not that bored. Where's Alex? I don't know. Playing or reading? He's always reading. He likes reading, darling. He's a baby. He's wet. He never wants to do anything. You mustn't bully him. We're all different. We all like doing different things. Just because he doesn't like doing the things you like doing doesn't mean to say he's a baby. He's a baby. If it really, really, really snows, then I'm going to build a snowman. Why, you know? A big one. As big as me. Well, you won't make one this afternoon, that's for sure. Look at that, Mummy. Look at what, darling? The snowman, Mummy. This snowman? What are you talking about? Can't you see it, Mummy? Colin, your imagination, you're as bad as Alex. The snowman, Mummy. Can't you see the snowman? At least look, Mummy. Come here and look. What for? There isn't a snowman. You've just been talking about building a snowman. But you must see him, Mummy. You must. He's on the lawn. Look, he's on the lawn, just by the bird table. Look, just there. Look, you can see him. I suppose you'll never be satisfied until I do look. Now, let's see, shall we? He's just there. Look, just there. You must be able to see him, Mummy. <gasps> There's no snowman on the lawn. You shouldn't tell Phibs. You saw him, didn't you, Mummy? Right by the bird table. He's scaring the bird. You watch too much television, you do not stop playing. I'm not playing. No, for, for the last time, there is no snowman. The snow is too light for a snowman. No, where's your brother? Asleep. What? I, I thought you said he was... He's sleeping. He's cold. <laughs> cold as ice. That laugh of yours, I, I don't know where you get it from. Now, now let's see where he is. Alex? Alex? Alex, darling. 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 Oh, God. You're so cold. Oh, my God. Told you. Told you. Cold as ice. Cold as ice. Oh, no. no, shut up. Alex, darling, what's, what's wrong with you? I'm cold. So cold. He's only playing. Alex, wake up, darling. Come on, it's Mummy. Mummy? Oh, God, oh, thank God. He's only playing. I said he's only playing. Oh, Colin, go upstairs. Oh, Mummy. Go upstairs and go upstairs now, at once. I haven't done anything. Oh, are you all right, Alex? You all right now? I dreamt. I was dreaming. I didn't like it, Mummy. I didn't right, like it's, it. It's all right now. It's all right now. Shush, shush, shush. You're awake now. I had spilled a snowman. And he fell on top of me, and I was cold, cold as ice. It's all right now. You're okay now. He didn't have any 
eyes. Oh, mummy, mummy. Oh, no, all right. Shush, 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 I don't shush, want to be the snowman, mummy. No, I don't no, want no, to. No, 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 no. What's going to make you build anything, darling? You, you won't have to do anything you don't want to. Promise? Yes, yes, I promise. No. It was only a silly dream, anyway. And, and only a dream. And, and dreams don't mean anything. And they can't hurt you, okay? Says the snow will continue. Might thicken up tomorrow. Hmm? The snow. Looks like it will continue. Oh. Alex had that dream again today. Mm, what dream? What dream? The same dream he's been having on and off for years. The one about the snowman. Oh, that. He's had it twice since we moved. Twice. Before we moved, he hadn't had it for two or three years. The stress of moving, and Moving's a stressful time. The thing was, Colin said he saw a snowman. Colin? I thought you said it was Alex. Yes, but before that, it was Colin that said he saw a snowman. He, he kept on and on, and then he said that Alex was asleep. <sighs> so I went to find him, and he was in here in front of the fire, asleep, dreaming that dreadful dream. Henry, he was freezing. <laughs> in front of the fire? Freezing? <laughs> Not just freezing, I mean cold, really cold, chilled, like ice. And he was white. Well, he'd probably been outside. He hadn't. I, I know he hadn't. He was so cold. Henry, you must believe me. When I first saw him lying there, I thought... You thought what? I thought he was so white. And still... He was so still, I didn't know what to think. And, and Colin had been saying these stupid things. What things? Oh, about, about the snowman. And, and I, I was frightened. I, I don't like that dream. It scares me. I, oh, and seeing him there. Oh, it was like seeing a ghost. This house, I, the whole place, it just gets on my nerves. You, you don't know what it's like. The whole place is... Claustrophobic. It comes in on you. Anne, look, ever since we moved, you've been preoccupied about the twins or the house or both. We must have had this conversation, this is or the if first not this particular conversation, then one like it. But you've I been must... going on about this sort of thing for weeks, and frankly, I'm rather fed up with it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Look, I've said before, you should get out more. Tell you what, I'll leave the car tomorrow and you go and do some shopping. Buy yourself a new dress. Mrs. McPherson will look after the boys. That'll cheer you up. I don't like it here. Um, I don't like it. This house gives me the creeps. I don't know why we had to move in the first place. We moved because A, it meant I didn't have to commute. B, it's a bigger, better house. C, it was a very reasonable price. And D, house prices here are set to go through the roof. roof. Not to mention there's a good school for the it's twins. It's all right for you. You don't live here. What do you mean, don't live well, here? Not really, no. Oh, Henry. This house shouldn't just be a hotel for you. It should be a home. For all of us. Anne, when I've got there, got ahead, got the car, when paying for the mortgage isn't such a struggle, then I'll have yes, more yes, time to... Yes, yes, yes. Then you'll be able to spend more time at home. Look, I really have to go through those figures. Jenkins asked me specifically. Look, maybe tomorrow... Yes, all right, when... go on. Go on up. I'll wash up and watch a bit of television, maybe do some mining. I'll keep myself occupied. Don't you worry. Get out more. That's what you should do. Get out more. I don't like snowmen. We'll don't do make it. me do here. it. Right here. No. Right near the bird table. <laughs> He can scare the birds. It's cold. D I don't want to. It's cold. Right. We'll start with a snowball. A big, big snowball. Mummy! Mummy! What is it now, Colin? He's back. 
What? The snowman's back. What did you say? He's back. The snowman's back. Now, don't be silly. He is. I can see him on the lawn. The snow's gone. There is no snow. You can't see him from here. He's on the lawn. For the last time. Can I go and play with him? There isn't a snowman. There never was a snowman. Can I, Mum? Can I? Can you what? Go and play with him. The snowman. Can I, Mum? Can I please? Now, come with me. Come on. Now, look. Look out there, Colin. There's just the lawn and the drive and the shed and the fence. Nothing more. No snowman. Nothing. It's not even snowing now. There is a snowman. <laughs> I can see the snowman. Stop playing games. I don't like it. I'm not playing. He's there. Alex has been playing with him. What? Alex. And now he's asleep. Sleep? He played with the snowman and now he's asleep. What are you talking about? Where is he? He's cold again, like yesterday. Where is he? Colin, where is Alex? Cold as ice. Colin, where is... He's cold as ice and white as snow. Colin, where is Alex? Mummy, you're hurting. Now just tell me where he is. T tell Mummy where he is. That hurts. Is he upstairs? Is he in your bedroom? You hurt me. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, I didn't mean to. Just don't... Now, listen. Where is Alex? Just tell Mummy where he is. I told you, he played with the snowman. And now... Is he outside? Is that what you're saying? Is he outside? Might be. Where? Where exactly? With the snowman. Colin, now you will answer me properly. You will tell Mummy exactly where he is and you will tell Mummy now. Colin. He's asleep. Cold as ice. Cold as ice. Colin. He's in the shed, Mummy. In the shed. Mommy, I told you he'd been playing with the snowman. Colin, I told you, stay in the house. Get back in the house. He's only playing. He's Get only back playing. In the house. He's only playing. Oh, Alex, you're so cold. Here, come on now. I'll get you back to the house. Get you warm. I was dreaming again, Mummy. I was dreaming. Shush, 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 shush. It's cold, Mummy. It's cold. Oh, it's all right, darling. We're going inside now. We'll, we'll get you warm soon. So cold. Look, it's just a stupid dream, darling. That's all. It's just a stupid dream. It's not a dream, Mummy. The snowman's here. No, don't, don't be silly. Come on, look at me, darling. He's right there. I can see no, him. No, you can't see anyone, darling. You can't see anything. Just stop staring, will you? He's behind you, Mummy. And he wants his eyes. He wants his eyes. Don't, don't be stupid now. Run, Mummy. He's coming. No, no, don't be silly now. It's, come on, it's just a dream. That's all. It's nothing. Don't let him get me, Mummy. Don't let him get me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Henry, make peace. Henry, it's happened again. Ah, oh, look, I'm in the middle of the dream. The dream happened again. Alex was in the shed as cold as anything in his... And his neck. I thought his neck had been broken. What? He looked all wrong and twisted. Is he all right now? Henry, I don't like it. It's, it's creepy. There's something creepy going on. Sinister. Is he all right now? What happened to him? Was he hurt? Can you come home? Ah, uh, no. I... I don't want to be here alone. Look, I can't come home. It's impossible. I'm out of my eyes. Please. Henry, I'm frightened. I can't, I tell you. Look, the boys are okay now, aren't they? Well... Aren't they? Good. Now, this is what you do. You get Mrs. McPherson to come in for a couple of hours to look after them, and you take the car. Remember, I left you the car, and go into town, get yourself a new dress. Nothing too pricey, but something nice. Don't treat me like a child. You always do this whenever I ring at work. I can just imagine you sitting there lifting your eyebrows towards the other men in the office. That silly wife's got herself into a state again. Look, buy yourself a complete wardrobe, if you like, or... Or what? Or go and see a doctor. Get yourself some tranquilizers or something. You have to do something and sort yourself out. Hello? Yes. When I get home this evening, we'll talk the whole thing through, all right? I mean, really talk it through. But there is something going on, something I don't understand. Henry, you must believe me. I am not going mad or anything. There is something going on. Nothing's going on. It's all in your imagination. What you have to do is to get it into perspective. That's why you should get out. Give yourself a break. 
Look, I've, I've got to go. Do you promise to do as I said? Go into town. Promise? You can spend as much as you like. Go on, Alan. You know you need a break. And you know what I'm saying makes sense. Yes, that's all right, sir. Not going to town. Good. You feel all the better for it. Believe me. All the better. There. Can we go in now? No, I've told you. Now we need another snowball for his head. A small one. When does Mummy get back? She's not back for ages. Ages. Are you going to make his head or not? Or shall I use yours? You wouldn't. Don't be silly. You couldn't. I could twist it until it came off and then put it on top. You couldn't. Round and round it'd go and then it'd break. Don't. Round and round. Snap. Please don't. You couldn't anyway. Oh, yes, I could. Now you're going to make his head. Or do you want me to try? Oh, I, I still can't believe it. Oh, well, I suppose we were bound to bump into bound each other to. sooner or later. But I am glad it's sooner. Oh, yes, me too. God, how long's it been? Well, it must be about seven years. Oh. So how's married life? Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> Boring at times, mm. but then, well... Oh. How about the children? Oh, they're still just the twins. Well, they're 11 now. God, are they really? <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, well, and you? Oh, no, no ring yet. <laughs> I Did you get the... Ju oh. You first. <laughs> All right. Um, are you still with the paper? Oh, yeah, still there. But now I'm a fully qualified local journalist. Ooh. Covering weddings, staff dances, mm. liquors running off with milkman's wives, you know, all the usual sort of stuff. <laughs> well, nothing juicy. Oh, no, not for years. You, you had plans to write sometime, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yes. But that was before. Before? Well, what do you think? Marriage and children and... You know, One's life just sort of fills up with things. It's not, never a dull moment. <laughs> What's wrong, Anne? <laughs> Nothing. Just an overactive imagination, that's all. What about? Not well, Henry, surely. Oh, no, no, not Henry. Mm. You don't sound all that convinced. Oh, Henry has his good points. He's got lots of good points. He's just very determined to follow the yuppie trend. Oh. <laughs> so determined, he doesn't have much time for anything else and just gets me down sometimes. Oh, I, mean, I am actually in town to buy myself a dress or even a complete wardrobe if I wanted to, to cheer myself up, to give me a fresh perspective on things. Henry's idea. <laughs> Everything can be solved with money. Fresh perspective on what? Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing you can put your finger on. Well, I don't really like the new house we've got. So where is it, exactly? M maybe I know it. It's on one of these anonymous estates out of Knollwater. Oh. You know, the kind of thing. Mm. One part is all named after admirals, you know, Nelson Avenue, Hood Close, and another bit is all writers. Dickens Way. Oh, yeah. Thackeray Drive. And Shakespeare Road. Got an old boulevard. <laughs> There's a Jane Austen cul-de-sac. Jeffrey Archer Lane. Oh, God, no, no, nothing so modern. <laughs> so, which one are you in? The admirals or the writers? Oh, no, neither, neither. Trees. Trees? <laughs> it's Maple Drive. <laughs> Maple Drive? <laughs> yes, why, 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 why do you say it like that? Oh, a name from the past, that's all. Go on. Well, five or six years ago, I was sent to write something about Maple Drive. A, a very sad story, very sad. What? There was a family lived there when the estate was first built. I think they were called the Osbournes. Yes, that's it. Mr. and Mrs. Osborne. An ordinary family, the typical nuclear family. Mum, dad, two sons, aged, well, I don't know, ten or eleven. Twins, as it happened. Uh... Oh, look, look, maybe I shouldn't be... Twins? Well, it's just a coincidence. What happened? God, I'm surprised you haven't found out about this before. I'm really surprised... Just, just tell neighbors... me, please, what happened? All right. There was an accident. The boys were outside in the garden, playing in the snow, and one of them got hurt, badly hurt. I, in fact, it was fatal. How hurt? How did it happen? Oh, look, steady on, laugh. This was a long time this ago. This is important. It's important. How did it happen? Well, remember, you asked me. His neck got broken. He fell over something, and his neck got twisted. It, it, it was very sad, but the reason why we got interested in it, the papers, why I remember it so well, the other boy panicked. He, he thought it was his fault, you see, and he panicked. So he built a snowman. A snowman? Yes, with the body, his brother's body, to hide it. I don't know what he thought he was doing, but, but it was a bit macabre and it, it made a good copy, so of course we got interested. God, I hadn't realised until then how cynical a press can be. Where did this take place? I told you, in the garden. No, what number? What, what number was the house? 
Oh, I can't. Please, what number? Thirteen. You sure? You sure it wasn't twelve or... or twelve A? Quite sure. I, I remember it gave me the title of the piece. Unlucky Thirteen. It was number thirteen, all right. But there isn't a thirteen now. It goes eleven, twelve, twelve... twelve A and fourteen A. They must have changed the number. They changed it from thirteen to twelve A. Oh, steady on, oh, Anne. Probably to help sell it. I bet they moved straight up. Yes, I think they did. Anne, listen. Look, Anne, listen to me. Look, mm. it's a long time ago. It, it's all in the past. It doesn't mean anything now. Here and now, it doesn't mean anything. Anne, what are you looking at? You look like you've seen a ghost. How long has it been snowing? It started before I came in, I think. Two or three hours. I... It looks like it's settling, too. I should be careful if you've got to drive home. I have to make a call. I must make a call. Where are the phones here? Do you, do you know where the phones are? Now. now, now, let's make his mouth. Then he'll be able to talk to you. Be able to tell things to you. Hello, Mrs. McPherson. It's Mrs. Makepeace. Oh, hello, dear. How are the boys? Sorry, dear. What did you say? How are the twins, Colin and Alex? How are they? Oh, they're fine, my dear. Quite oh, fine. Thank God. They're enjoying the snow. What? They're outside enjoying the snow. I, th I, th I thought I told you not to... I made them wrap up well and wear their Wellington boots. I thought I told you not to let them outside. I, I told you strictly I not to let them out. Yes, but it's when it started snowing. It's different, isn't it? It's not every day we get snow like this. You must watch out when you drive back. It's really quite thick. Uh, where, where, where are the boys now? Hmm? Can you see the boys now? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I can see them. Mm, on the lawn, that's where they are. Uh, uh, both of them? Uh, no, not both of them, just one of them. I can never really tell which one it is at this distance. And what's he doing? I think it's Colin, though. I think it was him that had the red woolly hat on. Or was it Alex? No, one had a green hat, I think, and the other one... Just the red what one. is he doing? Uh, Mrs. McPherson, please. Just tell me what he's doing. Snowman, of course. What else would a boy like that do in the snow? Good, fair, a nice big grin. Alex, I want your hat. I want your hat for the snowman. No, I'll get cold. Come on, give it over. Or do I have to take it from you? Hurry oh, up. All these lights. Oh, for God's sake, Anne, just calm down. If I didn't ask you to come... Sorry, I'll just take it easy. I mean, traffic lights are like kettles. They never change if you watch them. Oh, okay. Find oh, out! God! Oh, God. I never saw him. I, I never even saw him. And what are you scared of? Is it something I said? Something about what happened before? You've got to tell me, please. I can't. I daren't tell you. Dan? Well, try me. Well, later, maybe, but not now. I've just got to get home, OK? I'm getting cold, Carl. I'm getting cold. No, you're not. Now we need something for his eyes. No. Oh, yes. He's got to be able to see you, hasn't he? I don't want him to have eyes. I want to go indoors. You can't, you baby. I'm frightened. When does Mummy get home? Not for hours and hours yet. I know. We'll use coal. That's black. Go and get some coal. I don't want him to be able to see me. Go and get me some coal. Then he'd be a real snowman. A real, real snowman. Then he'd be able to see you. Can you see them? Can you see the boys? They're probably on the lawn. There should be two of them on the lawn. Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit, Look, Will. Can you see them? You should be able to see them. I can't see anything. It's the snow. No, there, there they are. Mummy. Um, 
Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I'm fine now. Hulk. Oh, give me a hug. Come on. Oh. Um. Hulk. Well, you think I'm really stupid, but I was thinking the snowman. What, Mummy? Oh, never mind. Just stupid, irrational fears, that's all. I was building it all up in my mind. Some sort of great evil force, but now I've destroyed it. <laughs> and everything's all right now. Oh, God. Where's Colin? Colin? Oh, he's asleep. Asleep? What do you mean, darling? Where is he? He's all right. He's just sleeping. Anne, I think you'd better come over here. Where, darling? Tell me where he is. I didn't do anything. It was the snowman. Oh, no. It was curious the way the snowman had shattered. The scattered pieces remained somehow connected. The trunk, the legs, the arms, the head. Oh, no. Please, God, no. All in proportion, all of a size. A small boy's size. From the end of one leg, one white leg, protruding quite naturally, seeming so normal there, that at first she didn't notice what it was. It was a foot. A human foot. And from the head, the shattered, flaking head, the head that was set at a curious, awkward angle to the rest of the body, she could see the eyes. Not black pieces of coal, but blue, staring, Human and dead. I told you he wanted his eyes, Mummy. Thinking of moving? Well, as I said earlier, 12A Maple Drive is up for sale. A nice house. Three bedrooms, through lounge, fitted kitchen, garage, bit of a garden, front and back, yes. Bit of a garden, front and back. It's a snip at the price, I'm told. In fact, they're so keen to sell, they might even be open to offers. Imelda Staunton played Anne, and Brian Hewlett, her husband, Henry. Alistair White was Colin, and Alkis Constantouris was Alex. Eva Stewart played Mrs. McPherson. J.C.W. Brook wrote the story, and Martin Jenkins was the director. My name is Edward de Souza, the man in black. And until the same time next week, I too, like the garden snowman, must melt away. <laughs>